Hello everyone, this is Jason here with Engage VR YouTube channel. And we're just going over today the YouTube VR app that's been released for or on Steam uh, for the HTC Vive. Uh, what we have here is a video just showing you uh, what can actually be done with this app. YouTube has done a great job of creating an application to bring in uh, standard videos and 360 videos into the VR space so you can actually view some of the content that you see on regular YouTube channels uh, whether it be on mobile or desktop. Um, <clears throat> what we wanted to try to walk through and kind of share is just what the YouTube app our YouTube VR app actually has the capabilities of doing. It was released in December 14 of 2017 towards the end of the year uh, right now, it's 2018, um, mid-February year. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, this video uh, was recorded separate from the audio, so if it seems a little bit separate, um, don't worry too much about it. We just wanted to kind of give you a brief overview of what the application can actually do. Here we are inside the YouTube uh, VR app. And if you give it a second here, this should be actually a two-man job. I'm actually filming and screen capturing this solo, so bear with me on actually grabbing a controller and trying to get adjusted here. But here you can see holding the controller with uh, menu options and swipe to scroll. Um, you can also do search within, readjust, and actually move the viewing space around the video player. And as you can see on the bottom, it actually lights up the uh, ground, um, which is, I think, is a nice touch uh, being in the VR space. Uh, the viewing in the headset is not as warped as you may see it here in the video. It's just because we're capturing and the output um, that the YouTube app is actually giving us. So uh, things in the VR headset are a lot larger. Um, here, we're taking you to our Engage VR YouTube channel. Um, specifically, we wanted to show uh, if you do a search and you actually download this application, which is free, um, be sure to check out Engage VR channel as a search. You only have to type it once, and it'll show up in your keywords the next time you actually uh, look for a search. Also, when you're looking for the branding, Look for the red play button with the gray background and it says Engage VR uh, YouTube channel. Uh, that's how you'll know that's us. Uh, there's a lot of things that's going on. Also, you can see on the branding on our channel uh, for Engage VR and also be sure to subscribe. We need as much support um, as we possibly can here. And what we wanted to show and showcase was some of the 360 videos that we actually recorded um, that is currently now available on YouTube and you can actually view in the VR headset. We also made a dedicated playlist for some cinematic VR. Um, and let's go ahead and go into one of the first videos that we have here. And right now, just showing you a pointer and just walking you through some of the options and just explaining the interface here. Um, so any moment here, you're looking at the controller, we'll click on the first video. So what you're seeing here is a video that was capturing the Marvel Avengers station in Las Vegas. Um, during CES, we had a little bit of time, so we went over um, to the actual location, which is in Treasure Island, to view um, the exhibit for the Avengers. Uh, there's a tour of each room, Incredible Hulk, Thor, Captain America, um, this particular room that we're viewing at right now is Vision's regeneration room. If you're familiar with Vision's character and how he was created, um, they made an exhibit space specifically for this. Um, this particular camera that we're using is the Samsung Gear uh, 360, uh, captured in 4K. The quality is really, really, really great. It came out, um, was really surprised on how well it translated over into the Vive headset. Uh, the reason you might see a little jerkiness here and there, you won't see that in the actual application. Uh, when you're in the headset, you want to kind of slow down for video watchers to actually see what's going on. So normally when you're a headset, things move a little bit faster. Right now the video is paused. We'll actually uh, reach and hit play button here so you can see some of the uh, 
the action items that's happening as far as the lights and the video screens in the background lighting up. And here we hit play and now you're seeing uh, some of the lighting effects and give you kind of the atmospheric feel um, of being actual at the experience of the Marvel Avenger station. Um, if you haven't got a chance to check it out, we have a, a couple of videos dedicated specific for the tour just to kind of share uh, for those that may be planning for the summer to actually go out and get a brief preview or if you just want to come back and see it over and over again um, just based on how the memory um, or the experience that you may want to uh, re-experience there. So again, uh, when you're doing the experience, you won't receive the same jerkiness. Um, we just tried to slow it down just enough so you can actually see in 360. There's also um, an additional button. Right now it jumped into the standard video. That was the next video in line um, in our channel. This was a standard video of one of the uh, speakers uh, from Otoy actually talking about the AD and uh, light video capture. Uh, this was a pretty good video that I wanted to capture and we put some description information inside the uh, on the desktop or mobile version if you would like more details or to see that full lecture of that particular scene we captured just because it was some interesting points that was being talked about there. Um, another standard video that's loaded uh, for us that's in our channel, we were at the Anime Los Angeles um, Expo event uh, that took place. And since you're inside the YouTube uh, VR app, we wanted to kind of show uh, the moving of the player and just the quality. I mean, this is really good quality um, to actually sit inside and be able to kind of review your videos, kind of showcase what's on your channel, and even do some of the reviews of other 360 videos or, you know, share some of the, uh, the playlists that we put together. There are some interesting items that we have put together uh, that we think most people will be able to learn from and actually get some information on uh, creating their own content. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to the Iron, uh, Iron Man Gallery. Here is the hall gallery of all the Iron Man suits. Uh, what we wanted to capture was kind of give you the experience of being in the actual scene and give you some visual um, information. Uh, if you're familiar with the movies and film, and actually going to the Las Vegas Avenger uh, Station. This will be one of the items that you'll actually see in the Iron Man Hall Gallery. Um, what we're going to do is the Hulk Buster that's all the way to the left there that we see pointing there. We're going to actually play the next video to take you over in that area uh, just to kind of give you the experience of the sheer scale of the actual suits and give you some familiarity. Um, there's a, the YouTube app is a very huge plus app to view some of the items that are there um, within the video channel and some of the, uh, the loading next videos that you can actually check out. So let's go ahead and we'll take you to the next video shot here in a second. There's a assembled Iron Man suit that's being put together there. We'll do a little additional look around and okay so we're actually going to take you to the uh, Iron Man Hulk Buster suit here in a second once we click on it there and you can also uh, pull the trigger to actually remove the menu item that's there and you'll see that's what happened there and now we're actually in front of the actual Iron Man Hulk Buster suit. Um, it doesn't look this distorted when you're actually in the VR headset. Again, this is just the rendering output um, on desktop that is showing how the uh, layout for spectators that actually wants to view what the user is seeing uh, while uh, the person's in the headset. 
we just went ahead and screen captured it so we can actually share and kind of talk and walk through uh, what's happening there. And just to kind of give you a, a look and feel of the scene, again, the, sh the shots and the video that you're seeing is coming directly from the ACC Vive headset. Um, so you can look around in full 360, you can actually pause, you can play, you can fast forward, you can kind of skip through um, and go through the actual scene there. And this is looking at the suit. And we slowed down the head movement uh, just so you can kind of get a feel look around. Naturally, when you have the headset on, you can look freely as, as much as you want and, and look around there. Um, YouTube also will autoplay the next video that may be in line for it. And, and for us, this is in, on our channel, so these videos are a part of our playlist, so these automatically play for us. Um, the resizing of the screen that you're seeing happening is not a flickering issue and it's not an issue with the app. It's actually a feature that YouTube actually gives you when you hover over the actual video. When you hover over actual video, it gives you the option to actually uh, scale up the video or shrink down. So if you're having difficulty seeing the video, you can actually zoom in. And if you, you know, the vision, if you're near or far side, you can actually zoom out. Uh, this video that we actually loaded is from CES. This is uh, one of Toyota's concept car vehicles. And this particular video is pretty good because we actually place you with the experience inside CES. Um, this is right front stage and center um, in front of the vehicle and kind of give you the ambiance of actually being uh, at the actual show. The audio, there is audio with each one of these videos. The audio was actually streaming through the headset, so we didn't record the audio for you to actually listen here on the video. Um, but we just wanted to kind of walk you through the YouTube uh, VR app that's on the uh, Steam VR here. Um, another standard video that you're seeing here is the Yamaha motorcycle. This is actually a motion controlled motorcycle. Uh, we were uh, able to actually capture some standard video and we did do some 360 video. The reason we loaded this video so you can actually view it is you can actually zoom in to make this video a lot larger. Here we're actually zooming out and then zooming back in so you can kind of see that feature there. Um, and then you can actually see the demonstrator here um, showing the weight auto balance that you see at the bottom of the motorcycle there that automatically readjusts. Uh, this is a very high quality working uh, design um, and you can see some of the mech type of design that's actually there and the, uh, the person that's uh, showcasing here was controlling the motorcycle and having the motorcycle follow him. And let's see, and again YouTube will autoplay the next video that is on the channel or in that particular playlist. Um, so we're going to see if we can load the NVIDIA Robo Race Car. Uh, the vehicle that you see here is a fully autonomous AI driven race car. This is actually a working replica race car. We did some detailed information on our blog. Um, there's also information on the description if you go to the actual YouTube channel. What we wanted to showcase here is if you're wearing the headset, the Vive headset, and viewing this, you can actually see this vehicle in full scale. The plus uh, about this video also is while recording, we actually move the camera closer to the car so you can get actually get a better close up of the vehicle. And we position this in multiple areas and here you can see the camera being repositioned so you can actually look a little bit closer. Um, this box window is actually a YouTube VR app feature that can actually help you focus a, a 2D scene to actually uh, if you're overwhelmed with all the 360 and you want to zoom in into a particular area and see what's going on there, you can actually hold the trigger button down and pull up that feature. Um, again, this car is the Robo Race NVIDIA car. This car is scheduled to race in the summer of 2018 in Europe. There's 10 of these cars, as I've, as I've been told, that they are looking to actually race in a real um, racetrack and uh, a race. Uh, the vehicle was just excellently designed and just a lot of just cool features with LiDAR and computer vision cameras and 
um, some other items. There is another video that we have loaded that we get a little bit closer to the car and kind of give you a full walk around there. And you can actually check that out uh, when you're here. And then showing some of the other videos that show some of that details and the thumbnails below that you see the foreigners pointing to. So now this is, uh, we're back to our uh, Engage VR YouTube channel and just showing you some of the videos. We wanted to go into our playlist that we've created. Now this playlist is very specific of showing some cinematic VR experiences that have been in high production and been created. Um, the one that you're seeing here is Help. The only reason we didn't play this right away is just because there's a lot of camera movement. If you can't really handle the motion sickness part of it, this the camera moves a lot in this particular video, and we suggest loading Pearl, as you can see what we're doing here. Um, but Help is a very good 360 um, uh, cinematic experience that was captured, and I suggest to check that out, uh, either desktop or if you can actually handle uh, the movement around. Uh, this video here, we're looking at Pearl that uh, won some awards. Uh, great this animation, 3D cinematic uh, video. Um, one of the best that I've actually seen here. Um, for developers, if you're a developer watching this, uh, a good plus, not only uh, consuming this type of content, but also studying if you're trying to create this type of content, kind of puts you in the place to actually see some of the surroundings and how the storytelling takes place and uh, to be able to look around. Again, we use the feature that YouTube uh, has provided for the YouTube VR to actually pull the trigger button and do a 2D frame of focus. So you can actually, uh, if you're doing explanation and you wanna show uh, these particular type of shots, um, explaining compositions and you know DP uh, specific items, you can actually do that. And that's what this 2D frame is here. Again, uh, we apologize for the audio if it's not super clear for you, um, but this is just a quick video. If you would like us to do another video or more detail, we'll, we'll get a chance and go back and, and do that for you. Um, again, you see this 2D framing just showing you the context and then bringing you back into full 360. So there are some very powerful tools. Um, in this case, you see Pearl uh, has a million views, so there is a demand for this particular type of content out there um, and experience, and we think that it will actually further uh, progress um, as hardware and distribution systems uh, become more available. Um, when you look at things like web VR and uh, the actual applications that you can actually purchase and download. Here we're just showing the snippets and you can actually go in and look at YouTube and we've added it to the playlist. Um, this particular uh, one video that we're looking at is the uh, son of, and this one it was very well put together just because of the CG scenes and just the design. I'm not sure of the actual date when this was released. Um, but I added it to the playlist to share with students. Uh, we actually met with some students earlier today, so we're filming this afterwards. Um, just kind of going over why this particular playlist is put together to showcase not only can you do live action 360 uh, video capture and experiences, but also create CG experiences uh, to uh, foretell an actual story. And even without the audio, the story that's being conveyed is very you know, well kept together. If you're familiar with Pixar type of films and animation, I think the team that put this together did a, a really good job. Um, this is part of the uh, Google Spotlight. And here you see us doing the framing, just kind of showing you that composition shot where the mother and a child are worried about the dead of going back to, you know, wrestle again, even though he, he has a, you know, a leg, you know, gone and he still wants to go out there and, you know, support his family and keep the tradition going. So the, the storytelling here is, is very well put together. And as you see, so we're, this is, again, we're inside the ACC Vive headset. Um, and we'll let it keep going here, uh, just so you can actually get a feel and, and kind of understand. And again, here we, we're using the framing 
the show parts of the the storytelling and i think we might do a little bit more uh of videos similar to this um as we start creating our content ourselves and as you may have seen in our channel we have a lot of experimental videos that we put together and every now and once again i do some lectures and talks and and kind of share this information but i wanted to house this one particular video together just showing how accessible um, this content is and using a YouTube app since we're on YouTube and we've been trying to keep up and post some of our content. Again, if you're watching and if you got through you know, towards the end of this video, uh, be sure to subscribe, support us, and uh, we're also on Twitter if you want to follow on a little bit more technical details. And with this particular video here, you see the uh, animation of the, the character and the light come in. Uh, very well put together cinematography and storytelling um, and how this was put together. And we'll look at the last parts here. So here you're looking at you know the, the characters and just the way this is designed, it, it is just, even without the audio, you still get the feel and the experience of the, the colors and character animation and, you know, the, the animation type of style, storytelling and telling you about the, uh, the content. And again, these videos are in our playlist and cinematic uh, VR. So if you would like to go back and fully watch the whole thing, you can do that as well. And I believe these uh, videos are also on available on Steam. So again, Engage VR uh, YouTube channel. If you search for us, we have tons of content that's in there. Um, if you're inside the Vive headset using the YouTube VR app, be sure to subscribe. Uh, ping us if you have any questions down in the comments below, and uh, hopefully we'll get some time to post additional videos.